This VATAS training video will show timekeepers how to create a corrected timesheet in VATAS. We are currently logged in and we are at the timekeeper main menu. From the main menu, we will go to select employees. We're currently at the current pay period. Remember, the current pay period has the asterisk by it in the drop down box, but you would never be doing a correction for the current pay period. So we would always want to use the pay period drop down to select the correct pay period for the correction. In this case, we'll be going back one pay period to pay period one. We select the pay period we're looking for and search. Remember, you must have a timesheet in a processed status to be able to do a corrected timesheet. If they are in a saved, validated, or pre-processed status, a corrected timesheet is not required at that point because they have not yet been processed. For this example, we will be using our employee whose last name is Fee, first name basis. So if you haven't guessed yet, this will be a fee basis corrected timesheet. Now the fact that we're doing this example on a fee basis employee, that does not matter. The process is still the same for any employee type. You first put the check in front of the processed timesheet for the employee who you are about to create the corrected timesheet for. You then scroll to the bottom and select create correction. Now, when you select Create Correction, a good way to look at this is you are not changing anything on that timesheet except the status of it, all right? As we just saw, it was processed. But when we clicked Create Correction, we will now use our breadcrumb to go back to Select Employees. That timesheet is now saved. So again, a good way to look at it is you're changing the status of that timesheet. Also notice that the pay period now has a C in parentheses. That will always be there, and that is telling us that this is a corrected timesheet. So again, we haven't changed anything on the timesheet yet. We've only opened it up for the possibility of change. So now let's go into that timesheet. And again, no matter what kind of employee you're working with or what the correction is, the process would still be the same. If this were a regular GS5 employee, who works some overtime at the end of the pay period, you would create the correction and you would then submit the premium pay request. Once it was approved, it would hit the timesheet, you would validate, just like you do with your regular timesheets. This is a fee basis employee, obviously. So for this example, we will say that on Friday the 19th, they had some procedures on that day and we need to do the correction to indicate that dollar amount. We click on Friday, we will add our fee basis units We'll take out the zero and we'll put in $1,500. And again, if you're wondering how do you get that information, however, you've always gotten that information. So it usually has to come down from your supervisors or from the physicians letting you know what the correction is or in a fee basis case, what the dollar amount is. We will save. We now have our $1,500. We can then validate our corrected timesheet. Once you have all of the corrections done, you will then validate the corrected timesheet in the same way that you validate a regular timesheet. One of the big things to remember with corrected timesheets in VATAS is that they do not need two levels of supervisors to certify. In VATAS, the timesheets need only to be validated by the timekeeper and then the corrected timesheets need to only be certified by one level of supervisor. So this timesheet is now validated we as the timekeepers have done everything we need to do with this corrected timesheet. It is now in the supervisor's hands. Notice at the bottom, we have several other options we could select, original timesheet, if you want to view the original timesheet, to compare to the previous or compare to the original. You would use the compare to previous if there are more than one corrected timesheets done on any given timesheet. If we select compare to original, it would show us that we added on 119 the $1,500, which is exactly what we added. We'll now go back to select employees. And if we scroll down, we can see that that timesheet is in fact validated by timekeeper. Once it is certified by the supervisor, it will very briefly say certified, typically only three minutes or less, and it will then reflect as pre-processed. And those are the only steps needed in VATAS for a corrected timesheet.
we're going to go back to the timekeeper main menu and that is all for this timekeeper training video thank you